Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Staff Gymnasium for tonight's matchup between the Holyoke Purple Knights and your Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, in this very special production of Brockton Community Access. Miles, it's special. We have the Brockton High School Television Production Club here, and Savannah's actually with us at the booth. Miles, we don't see Holyoke too often in Brockton. No. But they have a, a pretty big team. Yes, they do. And um, i got to give credit for Holyoke making that long trek across Massachusetts to come out here and play some good basketball with the Lady Boxers here at Staff Gymnasium. And I look for a good game. Holyoke's a big team, so the Boxers got their hands full again this evening. As you know, they lost to Hanover, which was they had big guys everywhere, big ladies everywhere in that Hanover game. So uh, hopefully they can come out on top this time around. Oh, right off the bat, number three, Natasha Hernandez-Santiago laying it up and in. Holyoke, a fairly large team. And for those who don't know where Holyoke is, as number 23 hits a three, that was Callie Kavanaugh. Holyoke is northwest of UMass Amherst. Yes, uh, I went to UMass Amherst and um, went out to Holyoke College. And like I said, they're way out there in the west. Um, I'm not sure what they're feeding their girls out there, but they got a couple of big ones on the team. A lot of farms out there. All that natural lot of farm food. Land, yes. Well, Mar uh, Holyoke is up five to nothing over Brockton. A short 52 seconds into the first quarter of this one. I tell you, when you saw Cavi, Ka Callie Cavanaugh, number 23, the big one right there, shooting a shot, she shoots those uh, jumpers pretty smoothly with a lot of confidence. And she just went two of two at the charity stripe. Seven to nothing the score. Brockton calling a much needed timeout. Not the start that head coach April Dingwall wanted. Not at all. It's only 7.04. Only one minute into the ball game. It, and that's a good timeout by the coach for the boxes because um, they've got to regroup and figure out what to do um, as far as um, playing a little bit tougher defense. It is worth mentioning Holyoke wearing... They're away, all purple jerseys, purple shorts, white trim. Brockton, still with their new white Nike jerseys, black stripe down the side, and red trim around the black numbers. Jelani Jackson up to, now it's Gennaro, so over to Jackson. Jackson driving in, puts up a floater in. Takes a hand to the face, and she will be at the line. Yeah, she was hammered as she went up there for that little short shot. She's okay, though. One thing the Lady Boxers are hoping for this time around is get their inside game working because their inside game just wasn't working against that tall Hanover team in their last home game. Jackson, two of two at the line. Brockton has yet to convert a field goal. Kavanaugh, top of the key, bouncing it over to number four, Mary Glashin. Glashin puts up a wild shot, no good. Gennaros, the holder of the single game scoring record for Brockton, over to Jade Went. Her layup is no good. Yeah, Jade just missed the backboard. If she could have got some of that backboard, that might have went in. Hernandez Santiago off the glass, no good. Offensive board for the Purple Knights, and it's out of bounds off of Holyoke. Brockton takes over. And I think what the Lady Boxes might want to try doing, because they were successful in that last time down the court, is push the ball up the court. Brianna Santos having some trouble doing that, losing it, getting it back, and now turning it over to number three, who does the balance beam act on the sideline. She gets it over to Kavanaugh, stopping and popping for two. And it's no good after a couple bounces on the rim. Gennaro's coming down with the rebound, flinging it over to Michaela Robinson. And Robinson stepped out of bounds. Yeah, she's got to know where the line is. The out of bounds is over there when she grabs that ball close to the um, out of bounds line, the sidelines. Got to be a little bit more careful. Natasha Hernandez Santiago. Oh, that should have been a kick ball. Michaela but. Robinson coming away with it. Two on one, Gennaros and Brianna Santos. Gennaros with it to Santos, laying it off the glass. Counted and one. And Brockton 
two and a half minutes into the first quarter, just scored their first field goal. Yeah, that was great communication uh, between the two lady boxes coming down the court on a uh, two-on-one break, and they used it to perfection. 5'9", freshman Victoria Lopez into the game for the Purple Knights. And Santos, no good on the three-point attempt, gets the own rebound and puts up no good. Flings it out of bounds as she was falling to the floor right into the hands of Callie Kavanaugh. A lot of ping-ponging around and now an attempted three off the front of the rim by number four. For Mary Glacian. That was good hustle by the boxes. You'll see the two-on-one break right here. Janeiro's with the beautiful pass to Santos. Janeiro's to Jelani Jackson. Jackson one-handing it back to Janeiro's. Working her way in. Puts up the underhanded finger roll and it's good. Oh, that was a nice job by Janeiro's. She wiggled her way in there. Found an opening and made the nice finger roll. Kavanaugh pump fakes, works it into the paint, takes about six steps. And she was fouled before she was called for a travel. So Kelly Kavanaugh will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, what's dangerous about uh, Kavanaugh is besides got some height on it, she can dribble the basketball. So that even gives her a little bit more advantage. And Alicia Fernandez in for Jade Wint. Brockton making it a one possession game. Eight to six the score. With Kelly Kavanaugh trying to make that a three point edge for the Purple Knights. She does not. Santos with the rebound. Santos loses it. Two boxers collide. No official sign yet whose ball it's going to be. It will be a Holyoke ball. Yeah, you're right. It took a while. We weren't sure, quite sure of whose ball it was. In for Kavanaugh down low. She puts up a layup with a little bit too much mustard on it. Fernandez getting in the passing lane, tapping it to Jelani Jackson. Brockton comes away with it. Nice job by the defense. Gennaro's for the tie is no good. Fernandez coming down with the rebound and blocked from behind by Callie Kavanaugh. That was a good defensive play by the Lady Boxers to get that ball back. They had their hands up. And um, they got in the passing lane and got the steal. Mary Glacian. Glacian putting up a shot. No good. Kavanaugh coming down with it. And she puts the rebound up and in. And Julio calling their first time out of the evening with 3.55 to go. Yeah, Kavanaugh taking big advantage underneath the uh, under the boards. Offensively, getting second chances there. And um, she's making good on it. 10-6 to six the score. The Purple Knights on top of the boxers. Brockton doing a fairly decent job of clawing their way back into this one after going cold from the floor for the first three minutes of the first quarter. Exactly, and the way they clawed themselves back in this ball game was playing tough defense, making um, Holyoke um, some turnovers, forcing some turnovers, and taking advantage of the turnovers and turning them into points. Brockton with a light week that had no games all of last weekend, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of this week. Back-to-back -back playing last night at Hanover in a rematch of that game that they got blown out by a much bigger, more powerful team. And, of course, tonight at home against the Purple Knights. Jelani Jackson setting up the boxer offense, working against Santiago. Jackson fouled. An arm bar, one of the newest calls in the book only a couple years old that was added to the rule book yeah that, that, that's a good rule the, I, clearly you could see Santiago come up with the elbows and arms trying to defend um, Jackson Jackson very quick gives it to Fernandez at the top of the key back to Jackson Jackson working away inside puts up a wild lay uh, wild hook shot rather no good Fernandez stepping out of bounds with it. Holyoke will take over. What? 
20 left to go in the first quarter. 10 to 6, Holyoke still on top of Brockton. Santiago puts up a shot while in midair. And now Glacian for a long two is good. Wow. She was wide open, so she had a chance to look at the rims, get her set, the body set, and threw up a uh, funny shot, but it went in. And she was on the line for three. What a good move by Alex Gennaros from the baseline, able to spin it off the backboard. Yeah, Gennaros, he's one of the better dribblers on his uh, Lady Boxer team. And she can get the job done inside the paint as well as outside. Santiago for three, no good. Didn't follow her shot. Brockton got the rebound. Michaela Robinson for three on the other end, and that's good. That's big three there by Robinson. She needs to hit those to keep her confidence up. Kavanaugh for two is good. Wow. 13 to 12, Brockton. All right, 14 to 11, that sounds more like it. Holyoke with the lead, the scoreboard was mistaken for just a second. Michaela Robinson's three, no good. Gennaris with the rebound. And Robinson was fouled. Yeah, Robinson make the quick decision to go right into the, towards the basket. And a lot of bodies there, and she was smart enough to go up and was fouled. Missing her first attempt. We did see Michaela Robinson walking around on crutches when we first got here to Steph Gymnasium today, so perhaps not at 100%. And she comes out of the game in favor of Brianna Santos. Yeah, Michaela might have twisted an ankle or something before this ball game. Giving it a try. She looked pretty good. Kavanaugh spinning with it. Who was fouled by Alex Gennaros, who was called for the hold. Wow, I, I didn't see much of a hold. But... Uh, the ref saw it. Did you see it, Mad Dog? I didn't see a hold. I saw maybe a weak arm bar. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Weak. A three is good wow. from Natasha Hernandez Santiago to put the Purple Knight lead at five. That shot had a lot of arc. Gennaro's rainbow two, no good. Rodney, that was a three. Kelly yeah. Kavanaugh with it spinning, puts up a shot, no good. The Holyoke bench calling for a foul. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I, it was 50-50. It was the yeah. feet were moving, but not so much that it should have been called a block, exactly. and it wasn't really a charge. Exactly. One of those good non-call incidental contact. You know, you're, you, the co your coach is always going to look for if your big man's in the paint and goes up for a shot. He's always going to look for a foul. Ashanti Allen to Jelani Jackson. Jade went setting the pick. Jelani Jackson with a hook shot, no good. Jackson kicking it out to Brianna Santos, top of the key. She saves us from being run into by a couple of players. And the ball ping-pongs to Callie Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh to Glacian. Glacian over to number 14, Victoria Lopez. Santiago to Kavanaugh inside the paint. Nowhere to go with it. 12 on the shot clock, 14 on the game clock. A three for Santiago is no good. Shot clock off and Holyoke with the ball. Kevin off the glass and in. Three seconds to go. Jelani Jackson racing up court. Launches the half court prayer. It's no good. The buzzer sounds. The score at the end of the first quarter. 19 to 12. The Holyoke Purple Knights on top of the Brockton Boxers. Miles. Brockton started off slow. Turned it on. And then kind of went cold again. Yeah. And um, but the, the real problem real problem is I, I got to give it to Holyoke. Their team knows what to do. Working into the big man. 
which is um, Kavanaugh, and she's taking full advantage, getting a shot off. Uh, Brockton's doing the best job they can, but Holyoke doing a smart job, working it into the um, to Kavanaugh, and um, then she just takes it from there. Either passes it back out to the open man for the jump shot, and they've got some um, ladies out there that can hit that uh, long jump shot, especially if they're wide open. Miles, the conversation it seems we've had the last three or four games, how does Brockton compete with the size and the strength of a much bigger team? Yeah, exactly. And the only way you can do is, is, is to speed the ball up. When you get the defensive rebound, bring it back up very quickly so the, um, the defense won't be able to set up and uh, try to get a shot off before the defense sets up. That's about all you can do. Um, and then when it, if the defense is set up, all you can do is just pass it around, move the ball around. Everybody's got to be moving and find that open um, lady boxer. Well, Brockton putting in both Brianna Santos and Jade Wint, trying to match at least a little bit of the size of the Purple Knights. And they join Alex Gennaro, Stilani Jackson, and Michaela Robinson on the floor. Second quarter underway. Jelani Jackson with it for the boxers. Jackson has it ripped out of her hands by Natasha Hernandez. Santiago is in alone and fouled hard from behind by Brianna Santos. Yeah, good foul by Santos. She denied the um, Purple Knight, Lady Purple Knights, um, a chance to uh, make a three-point play. You saw the good strip, clean strip, and a good play by um, Santos denying um, the Holyoke play of getting the uh, easy two. Santiago missing her first attempt. Oh, for two at the line, so a very good foul by Brianna Santos, preventing any points. Jade went inside, wild hook oh. shot, no good. Actually, that was a pretty good shot. It's just she had a little bit too much on it. Janaris coming up with the steal. Yeah, oh. Janaris just picked her pocket very cleanly. And then a hold called against Mary Glacian, who now comes off the floor in favor of Denisha Williams. Robinson to Janaris. Janaris with a floater to Brianna Santos, was fouled before the shot went up. And was that on Kavanaugh? Hopefully it was on Kavanaugh. It'd be nice well, to it get was a her. Call, it was a call against Brockton because oh, Julio oh, took over. Oh, yeah. That's one thing Brockton's going to have to try and do is to get Kavanaugh in some foul trouble. Maybe get her on the bench. Janaris coming away with the errant pass to Jelani Jackson. Off the glass, in and ah, out. Tough break for the boxes there. Now two on one. Off the glass, no good. Rebound to the Purple Knights. And fouled, I believe, by Michaela Robinson. But Jade Wint called for the push. Now we'll see the first look of the night at the freshman Elizabeth Williams, who replaces Brianna Santos. Yeah, and Elizabeth's going to have to really step up here and hold her own out there. She's going to have to really hustle and play hard. Kavanaugh pump fakes and then puts up a shot. Went wide to the right, gets her own rebound. Williams now for two is good, and Holyoke draws first in the second quarter, minute and a half in. Yeah, nice ball movement by Holyoke. Jackson losing it. Jade went picking it up, and she's called for the travel. Gee, that was a quick whistle. I mean, once she got it, you could see she was going to pass it. but She was falling to the floor. The ref looked over at the Holyoke bench and asked, yeah. travel? Did she travel? travel? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> let's call it travel. We'll see it on replay here. Uh, uh, yeah. That's one of them ticky-tack fouls there. Unfortunately for the Lady Boxers. 
Kavanaugh inside, overpowering four Brockton boxers off the glass and in. Wow, she's the real deal, folks. Gennaros to Jade Went Went for two, no good. It's going to be out of bounds off of Holyoke. A good attempt there by Natasha Hernandez-Santiago to try to throw it out of bounds off of a Brockton boxer. The bad angle resulted in it bouncing right back off her. Kelly Kavanaugh comes up with the steal right off the inbounds pass. Yeah, Gennaro's tried to force it in there. She's usually pretty good on them inbound passes. Kavanaugh for wow. three off the glass and in. Wow. She can shoot like a guard too, Mad Dog. The six foot three senior, Kelly Kavanaugh. Robinson can't quite really pass it. Went off of Holyoke. As we see is the real deal. Three folks. off the glass. Three pointer with extra confidence. Yes, extra confidence. Robinson to, to Gennaros. Gennaros working her way inside. Was fouled. Foul called against Denisha Williams. Holyoke on top, 26 to 12. Much the way they started this game. Brockton has been cold for the first three minutes of the second quarter. And much the way Brockton started the game. One of Brockton's best shooters is at the line about three minutes into the quarter. Yeah, Gennaro's good free throw shooter. And she's doing a great job going to the going to the inside, trying to draw fouls. But one for two at the line was Alex Gennaros. Tanisha Williams for three, no good. Kavanaugh, uncontested rebound. She puts up a long two, no good. Michaela Robinson with the rebound for Brockton, and she quickly gets it to Elizabeth Williams, who gives it over to Gennaros. Gennaro spinning it to Jade Went Went off the glass and in. Nice job by Went. She worked hard for that one. Brianna Santos going to come back in the game for Brockton. Hard across to Denisha Williams. Now to Santiago for three. No good. Off the back of the rim. Jade Went. It was an over the back somewhere in there. Yeah, a lot of hustle there by both both teams. Victoria Lopez, in my personal humble opinion, should have been called for an over the back. Denisha Williams over to Amber Lemke. Wow. And Santiago for three is good. Yeah, she liked that shot. She came down with a fist pump. And Brockton calling another timeout, this time down 29-15 to 15 to the Holyoke Purple Knights, who have really done nothing wrong that you could complain about as a coach. Yeah, I mean, if, if I was the um, Purple Knights coach, I'd be um, a happy camper right now. They're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. If um, somebody has the open shot from the outside, they take it. They also know how to work it inside to Kavanaugh. And the dangerous thing about this... Um, Purple Knights team is Kavanaugh. She can work it inside and score, or she can take the deep three or just inside the three and score with ease. It's a very dangerous thing. We saw it against Hanover. They had a very similar built player that could line up as the big man in the paint. It was Megan Robb. Yeah, she, she was the real yeah. deal, too. So Brockton's come up to some real tough competition in this month of January. Jelani Jackson spinning with it, trying to get around Williams. Santos to Went inside off the glass and in. Again, nice play by Went. She was ready for the ball. Put it right off the glass and in. Kelly Kavanaugh driving baseline off the glass, no good. Spinning off the rim, jump ball called.
went ha hanging tough out there. Holyoke ball. Lemke down to Santiago for Kavanaugh. It finds Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Santos to Robinson. Robinson floater off the front of the room. Wint coming down with the rebound. Another jump ball called. This will be a Brockton ball. Again, Wint doing a good job on the rebounding. Fighting it out with Kavanaugh. Jackson quick three is no good off the back of the rim. Denisha Williams kicks it to Michaela Robinson to Jelani Jackson. Jackson spinning with it. Out to Robinson. Robinson back to Jackson. Jackson high off the glass. No good. Kelly Kavanaugh coming down with the rebound. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. And number 14, Victoria Lopez putting a layup off the glass. And 31-17. Yeah, that was textbook transition right there. Starting from the rebound by Kavanaugh getting it up quickly. A long two for Jade Wint is good. Wow, that's her third in a row. Right now, she's the hot. She's got the hot hand. Kavanaugh pump fake works away inside, gives it to Santiago for Denisha Williams. Her three off the front of the rim. Jelani Jackson coming up with the rebound. Jackson fouled hard on the way in. Will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, Jackson, no fear, and Jackson coming down with three Lady Knights all around her, and she still somehow got that ball off and up to the basket and got fouled Why she did that. Nice play by Jackson. Natasha Hernandez-Santiago called for the push. And Alicia Fernandez replacing Elizabeth Williams. Rocking down by 12. Jade Went coming down with the rebound to Jackson. Initially held up by Denisha Williams. Jackson hands off to Michaela Robinson to Fernandez driving baseline. And she's called for the travel. Yeah, she took one too many steps there. Williams in for Kavanaugh quickly to Lemke, who is called for the travel. 159 to go in the second quarter. Brockton still trying to claw its way a little bit closer, 31 to 19. Jackson to Santos. Santos loses it, gets it back, and is fouled. Push called against Janellis Mar Rivera. Very good there, Matt. I looked at that name and the fear of God was <laughs> struck into my heart. Some interesting names out in Western Mass these days. Yeah. Santos, one of two at the line. Fernandez with the rebound. She puts it up and in. Yeah, Fernandez uh, got good position underneath for the rebound. Came right to her, and she took advantage and put it right back up. Nice job. Williams to Santiago. Back to Williams. Her log three Whoa. is good. Oh. From way downtown. Wow. That was a lot of arc on that ball. Pretty shot. Jade went spinning with it. Her floater is good. Nice, Jade. Nice job by Went. This is one of her better games this year. Rising to the occasion. Holyoke's bench calling for a foul on Jelani Jackson. They're not going to get that any day of the week. One minute to go in the first half. Brianna Santos, followed by Denisha Williams, who's called for the armbar. Brockton in, in a bonus situation. That is the eighth team foul against the Holyoke Knights. And the, the position that Brockton is in this evening, you'll see here on the replay. Long, long arc 
on that shot. But Brockton has to take advantage now because they are overmatched. They have to take advantage on the free throw line, Matt. They have to take advantage on the free throw line. Santos good on her first. She will get a second. See, because these are freebies. And when you have a tough time just trying to make shots with a big team, you've got to take advantage of the freebies. Brianna Santos, two of two. And that puts us at 34 to 26 with 50 seconds to go. Denisha Williams. Santiago in for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh followed, I believe, by Jade Wentz. Are they going to call it on Brianna Santos? Call for the hit. As is seemingly always the case, Brianna Santos in a little bit of foul trouble. And she will come out in favor of Elizabeth Williams. Well, Santos, she's, she's the type. She plays hard. And uh, when she gets in there, she's not going to be pushed around. And so that's why she's going to take a break where she might have two or three fouls on her. Kavanaugh, two of two at the line. 36 to 26, 10-point edge. Jade went for two, no good. Out of bounds off of Kavanaugh. Brockton, fresh chance to inbound. Exactly a 10-second difference between shot clock and game clock. 20 on the shot clock, 30 left in the half. Williams sending it long for Delani Jackson from the charity stripe is good. She took advantage of that. They gave her the open lane. She stopped and popped from the free throw line. Santiago working against Jackson, 15 left. Kelly Cavanaugh driving baseline, reverse layup. Not even close, number 20 comes away with it. Janellis Mar Rivera. The shot waved off. Elizabeth Williams called for the hold. If Brockton can just hang in here these last seven seconds, prevent Holyoke from getting any more points. Five seconds, and Kavanaugh's missed shot. Delaney Jackson doesn't have time to put up a last-second shot. The score at halftime, 36-28. Brockton with an eight-point deficit. It's a lot better off than they were just a few moments ago. Exactly, Matt. And, and that's because of the great hustle by Brockton on their defense as well as offense. They took advantage of what little bit that Holio gave them, and that's where they cut it down to eight points. Miles, Brockton has found its way into finding some points. What do they have to do to continue that going into the second half and claw the way back from eight down? Well, when they come down on offense, they're doing a pretty good job on defense as best as they can, as best as they can. But on offense, they're going to have to make, make more shots. That's the bottom line. They have to make their shots. And I'm not saying you've got to make 100% of your shots, but you have to make more shots to keep up with this powerful Holyoke team. Well, the score at halftime, 36-28, to 28, the Holyoke Purple Knights leading the Brockton Boxers. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Holyoke Purple Knights and your Brockton Boxers. Brockton down by eight coming into the second half. Well, as we talked about it at the end of the first half, Brockton having issues with the size and the strength of Cali Kavanaugh in the Purple Knights. Yes, they are. And like I said uh, at the end of the first half, they got to score a few more baskets and still play that very tough, scrappy defense and make Holyoke work for their shots. Jelani Jackson has not taken as many outside shots as we've seen her in previous games. 
that could have something to do with it. She's, the boxer is really trying to force it into the paint before putting it up. Yeah, they, they're trying to um, draw some fouls, especially on Kavanaugh. But she's been doing a good job staying away from uh, foul trouble. Brianna Santos at the line hits her first attempt. Two of two at the line, and now four of four on the night for Brianna Santos. Santiago over to Glacian. Glacian to number 13. Ball goes into the ref, and now it's Gennaros comes up with it. Gennaros. Oh, it should have been a foul. should have been a foul. Should have been a counted in one for Alex Gennaros. Nice job, though, by uh, Gennaros. Protecting the basketball with her body. Putting it off the glass sweetly. Wow. Now a three with an extra side of confidence. Those are killers right there. Polio, very dangerous from way outside when their man is open. Robinson handing it to Gennaros. Gennaros. Hard over for Jade Went. Went to Jackson, back to Went. For three is no good. And out of bounds off of Brockton. When Went shoots that outside shot, she needs to run right in, follow her shot quickly. She's got a lot of height. There's a good chance she could get her own rebound. Then make something happen. Santiago to Glacian, Glacian to number 13, Amber Lemke. Michaela Robinson is called for the hold. And Brockton's bench screaming about a three-second violation. Glacian to number four, or rather, that was Santiago with yet another three. Yeah, they're going to have to D up on Santiago. Kavanaugh coming down with the rebound, losing it to Michaela Robinson, diving to get it back, and now Glacian with a floater high off glass, no good. Jade Wint comes down with the rebound, right into the arms of Santiago. And now Lemke off the glass, and then that's a mental error for Jade Wint. Yeah, she's got to be much more aware of who's around her before she lets that ball go. No excuse right there, just a mental error. Gennaros for three, no good. Kelly Kavanaugh for the Purple Knights. Turns it over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson one-hands it up to Gennaros, to Robinson back to Gennaros. For Robinson, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, one two, one pass too many on that one there, uh, Matt. And it's a shame. Good defensive play, and they had the ball on a fast break, and they just couldn't quite capitalize. Good tough defense by Holyoke, though. They're the ones that uh, made Brockton work for that um, shot, which they never did get off. Janaris on the floor fighting for the loose ball. Three boxers and a foul is oh, going to be called. On. Robinson called for the push. Uh, the don't... explanation to the boxers bench. She was lying on top of her. Wow. That doesn't sound like a push. That no, sounds it like doesn't. fighting for a loose ball. Exactly. If anything, it should have been a jump ball. All the late... Kavanaugh drawing the block against Jade Wentz. Wow, Kavanaugh with the power move inside. And uh, Jade went, didn't have just a split second. If she could have a split second more, she would have had position. But Kavanaugh with her quickness came right in there and uh, had the foul, uh, force foul. Two at the line. That brings us to 46 to 32. Holyoke on top of Brockton. Jelani Jackson to Robinson. Robinson. What I'm noticing, Miles, is Brockton is not becoming set before taking shots. 
Yeah, they're kind of rushing the shot a little bit because of uh, the height advantage and the urgency to, to get back in this ball game, and they're, they're off a little bit on their shooting at the moment. Denisha Williams to Glacian, Glacian to Santiago, and for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh misses the shot, gets her own rebound. Santos tapping the rebound to Michaela Robinson. Good defense by the Lady Boxes. Robinson for Wint, couple bounces off the rim, no good. Number 25 coming up with it, Janitza Santiago, the six foot senior. Jade Wint coming up, and again, Jade Wint unaware of her surroundings, threw the ball into Kelly Kavanaugh. Brianna Santos was able to pry it away. Denisha Williams flipping it out of bounds. Well, Brockton got a break right there because it was a two-on-one break, and actually two of the uh, Holyoke players were ahead of the Brockton player, but pass had a little bit too much mustard on it. Break there for the Lady Boxes. Halfway through the third quarter, 46-32, to Holyoke up by 14 over the Brockton Boxers. And Alicia Fernandez to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros, a little too much mustard there. Gennaros tried to put it in there. If she could have put it in a little bit more softer. Not a lot of fouls so far in the second half. Both teams ended the first half in a double bonus situation. And right now, one against Holyoke, three on the boxers. Denisha Williams takes the three, and it's no good. Jelani Jackson wow. running to that. A little bit of a late whistle, but it was it was called. The right call, the right call. Jackson went flying, but she's a tough cookie. No fear in Jackson. Denisha Williams called for a push away from the ball. Both teams with three team fouls. Michaela Robinson, quick three off the inbounds is good. Couple bounces off the rim. Looked like it was going to bounce out. Hit the yeah. front of the rim. They had just enough backspin on it. Yeah, we had to hold our breath for a second or two. Santiago high over the top for Kelly Kavanaugh. Well, they caught, it was on Kavanaugh, but. A three second three violation seconds. against Kelly Kavanaugh. Well, Brockton's not complaining. Now down 11. Gennaro's trying to cut that to a single lead. Uh, single digit lead out and Annalicia Fernandez off the glass and in. Yeah, beautiful feed by Gennaro. She drove all the way in and didn't shovel it off to the open man right underneath an easy play. Foul called against Annalicia Fernandez, called for the hold. And the boxers hustled their way back. So a nine-point deficit. You'll see right here. Nice feed by Gennaros. And the Lady Box was ready there. Number 33, Fernandez. Mary Glacian back in the game. Kelly Kavanaugh just inside the half-court marker. Denisha Williams to Lemke to Santiago. Her three, no good. Airballed it, actually. Michaela Robinson coming up with it. 2.15 to go. Brianna Santos back in the game to Fernandez. Wide open, driving baseline. The ball, Hail Mary is down to Santiago to number 14. Now Glacian to Williams. Williams to Santiago, who slows down with it. Over to Williams. Tawani Jackson to Michaela Robinson. Robinson can't handle it. Brianna Santos now for three is no good. Jackson... Tipping the rebound, surprised there wasn't a foul called in the air. Yeah, Jackson was kind of uh, out of control going up for that rebound, and she knocked one of the Holyoke players over. 
but luckily no call. I tell you, the Lady Box is using a lot of energy here in these last three minutes. Denisha it's Williams to Gleishin. Out of bounds, and Jelani Jackson does look gassed. Yeah, Lady Boxers might, Lady Boxers might need a timeout just to catch their breath, because like you said, they're all breathing pretty hard. Doing a great job hustling. Jelani Jackson with it, 120 to go in the third quarter. Alex Gennaro's wild shot has enough spin on it, Ooh. and that finds the net. Yeah, that was a sweet, sweet little shot. She snuck it in there. Victoria Lopez on the other end now. 48 to 39, nine-point edge for the Purple Knights. Yeah, Holyoke answered right back with two, two points of their own. But Brockton can't go basket for basket. Come out called by head coach April Dingwell of the Brockton Boxers. You'll see on the replay, nice job by Gennaro's. Goes in, sweet little underhanded shot off the glass and in. Now you may have noticed a lot more red on the sideline tonight. That's because Brockton has a team store, Miles. It's ptsteam.com slash Brockton Boxers. You can order anything, pretty much, that says Brockton Boxers on it, and it raises money for the athletic department here at Brockton High. Exactly. I had a quick look at uh, what they had to offer. They got about maybe four to five items at least that you can um, Sweat choose Sweatpants, sweatshirts. V very nice. Very stylish. I think I might look pretty good in one of those. I think so, too. So I might have to sign up. And whatever you get, you got to get two because you got you to get Mrs. Jackson one. <laughs> And it raises money for the Brockton High Athletic Department. That's the best part of it all. Fernandez driving baseline, Ooh, puts a deep. shot straight up. Kavanaugh coming down with the rebound. She was pretty obviously held by Annalicia Fernandez. No call. And wow. puts it up and in. She just went coast to coast, folks. Alex Gennaros to Santos. Santos driving was fouled with 33.4 left in the quarter. Santiago called for the hold on Brianna Santos. No, hey, middle. Now, now, where she is. Find her now. Jackson working against Denisha Williams, goes behind the back, creates some space inside the paint. Fernandez down wow. low, around the world, and out. Kavanaugh coming down with it, no shot clock. 25 seconds to go. Golden opportunity right there. Just missed. Ball just rolled off the rim. Turn it over to Gennaros with nine seconds left. And she lays it up and in. Yeah. Gennaro's very, very smart with the, um, got the basketball sense out there when she's playing. Kavanaugh left second three off the front of the rim. No good. Buzzer sounds, Brockton down by nine, better off than the 14 they were down at halftime. 50 to 41 the score, Holyoke on top. Yeah, and they put a lot, a lot of energy exerted in that third quarter to bring this uh, ball game down to nine points. Still big mountain to climb to get closer because it seems like um, Holyoke answers back most of the time. But Brockton's playing tough defense, making Holyoke work for those shots. Well, as is tradition, especially in big productions such as this one, of course, a joint production between Brockton Community Access and the Brockton High School Television Production Club. We want to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities down in the truck. At the helm, our fearless leader has made his triumphant return. Paul Mandeville is directing the show tonight. He is joined alongside John Pinto on Instant Replay. DJ uh, Danny Steele Jr. on Graphics. And Tyler Chisholm from the TV Club. Up top, the profound and prolific cinematographer Aaron Tebow is on camera. Along with Anthony Jordan from the TV Club. And Danny Steele Sr. Of course... 
Destiny Owls helping out on camera as well from the TV club. And big game Miles Jackson along with Savannah Trebulsi and Ooh, myself. Nice job. The yeah. Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Got Savannah's name right. I looked over with Trebulsi. Yeah. Got a big yeah. grin on her face like this. That's it. Kavanaugh with excellent spin on the ball up and in. Wow. Jelani Jackson, floater, no good. Brockton's got to do something. They've got to figure it out fast. Kavanaugh down low, holding on and putting it up and in. Yeah, she's putting on a show this evening. Just when Brockton seems to claw their way back into this ball game, Kavanaugh just kind of takes over for a few minutes and um, gives uh, Holyoke some breathing room. Still a nine-point edge, but Holyoke seemingly with the momentum here. Callie Kavanaugh stopping, popping from the charity stripe off the front of the rim. Michaela Robinson to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Santos. Santos off the glass and in. Nice job. Nice feed by Jackson. Santos was, Santos was ready for it. Put it off the glass very nicely with Kavanaugh and a face. Brianna Santos. You'll see it right here. Nice job, Jackson to Santos. She puts it right up quickly without putting the ball on the floor. Brianna Santos is in a lot of pain on the Brockton bench. And She's hunched over. She's on the very end there talking with head trainer Jerry Connors. She's holding her stomach. You can see her breathing hard. Oh, Elizabeth Williams will be coming into the game for Santos. That was pre-planned before the last Brockton rush. Yeah, Santos has been playing a yeoman game. A lot of hustle by the young lady. No fear. And right now, shes I think she might get a well-deserved rest as, yes, she did. Or, yes, she will. And like you said, Matt, number three regular, regular, for the boxes, Elizabeth Williams will step in. Fifty-four to forty-seven, Brockton down by seven, trying to chip away at that lead. And this is where Brockton really has to play tough D. They haven't been seven points or close in a long time in this ball game, so they need to try to force a turnover or a miss, get the ball back, and try to cut this lead down to five. Jelani Jackson, Michaela Robinson, tough with doing that on the back end of the court. Lady Boxers have a big task right here to stop this Purple Knight team. Well, it's going to be a foul called, I believe, against Natasha Hernandez-Santiago. Called for two-hand push. A push-off. That's a technical. Oh, tech. I think it was on number three here, who, who the coach has here leaning, leaning down here on the sidelines. It was on uh, number three. The official word is that Natasha Hernandez Santiago pushed Jelani Jackson after the play. Oh, okay. Resulting in the tech. And one of two at the line. So let's see here on the replay, Matt. That bottom right corner, yeah, oh, there yeah. it is, right Caught there. Right there, red-handed on camera. Great camera work by Danny Steele Sr. Obviously, so, Jack Jackson has gotten into Santos' head a little bit. Jackson, one of two from the charity stripe on the tech. And Brockton with possession after that technical foul. The first tech we've seen called here at Staff Gymnasium this year. Now from behind, Gennaro's taken down by Callie Kavanaugh. Hey, that Gennaro, she's tough. I, I've seen, we've seen her on the floor all year, diving and going out to get knocked over, and she just jumps right back up, gets right back out there and plays. She's probably, uh, you can tell she's got some skills, probably played basketball with her dad out there in the driveway 
And you know how dads are with their daughters when it comes to basketball. Just go for it. Jackson one-handing it to Gineros for three, no good. Michaela Robinson tipping the rebound to Annalisa Fernandez, flinging it to Jelani Jackson. To Robinson, her three is no good. Fernandez again coming up with the rebound. Two big rebounds for Annalisa Fernandez. Gineros now to Jelani Jackson. Jackson stopping and popping for yeah. two, and she is fouled. It looked good on the way up, but yeah. it fell out. Almost went in, but in and out, but nice ball movement by the uh, boxes. Making Holyoke work on defense. They've got the lead cut down right now to six. They could actually cut it down to four if they can make these, if Jackson can make these uh, two free throws. Well, Brockton now in a one and one shooting situation with five and a half minutes to go. Jackson hitting her first. She will get a second, and every free throw counts now. Critical, critical. We're in the fourth period, 5.32 on the clock. Free throws are very critical right now, especially for the boxes. Jackson, two of two at the line. The four-point edge now for the Purple Knights. Yeah, you can see the boxes now, full court press. Natasha Hernandez-Santiago over to Mary Glacian. Glacian. Holding and now driving inside. Blocked oh, by Gennaros. Oh, it was all ball. The fans are up too. Oh, come on. That was a great defensive play. They're going to call a push against Michaela Robinson. Let's see it on the replay, folks. They called it on number 30. Where is the foul? I didn't see a foul. Great Glacian replay. missing her first attempt. Great replay right right there to show that uh, that was a questionable call. And take one more look from the top angle. Uh, it got ball, but there was know. there was contact was, in the air. The push wasn't the call. If, if anything, a block. Kavanaugh coming down with the rebound, putting it up, no good. Glacian with this one, stripped by Fernandez. She gets it to Jackson. No points resulting from the made-up foul call. And now a foul called against. Hernandez Santiago and that should be a shooting situation a one-on-one -on -one shooting situation for the boxers thank goodness the, the, the um yeah there's the scores the table yeah, the scores table let them know there, there's gonna be an inbound and the scores table screaming it's a one-on-one -on -one. it's a one-on-one -on -one. you know you're at home when uh, the scores table is screaming Put Jackson on the line. Good work there by Miss Ethel Savis to alert the referees that that was a one and one shooting situation. Jelani Jackson for three is no good. Gleason coming down with the rebound up to Santiago. Santiago stripped and that's out of bounds off of Brock and a good no foul call there. That was a great defensive play by Jackson. She got her hands on that basketball without fouling the uh, shooter. Still 25 seconds left on the uh, shooting clock. Brianna Santos replacing Jade Wint. So a four-point edge for the Holyoke Purple Knights. Kelly Cavanaugh down low off the glass and in. Yeah, not much you can do right there with Kavanaugh establishing her position underneath the boards. Jackson to Fernandez in for Gennaro's reverse left and she's taken down from behind. Yeah, beautiful backdoor play by Gennaro's. She was hammered and will go to the free throw line. You'll see it right here on the replay. replay. Nice backdoor and foul. Denisha Williams in for Amber Lemke who is committed that foul against Janaros. Janaros very quick to the basket. When she goes to the basket, she's very quick. Quick release on the um, with her wrist on that basketball when she throws it up there. Very hard to defend. Janaros hitting her first attempt. And two for two at the line is Alex Janaros. Back to a four point deficit for the boxers. 
Callie Cavanaugh spinning over to Santiago. Blocked from behind by Fernandez. Brockton comes away with it. Jelani Jackson, four minutes and 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter, trying to cut into the four-point lead. Fernandez air balls it, was tipped, and Santiago comes away with it. Yeah, just a good defensive play. Got, got a piece of the hand on the ball. Santiago fouled. Yeah, Santiago and Jackson are battling here. Jelani Jackson called for the push. Don't you have to come out after you get a tech? Huh? I know it's soccer, you have to come out after a tech. And a timeout called by the head coach of Holyoke, who is beside himself. Well, I think... I mean, you can't blame the coach for being beside himself. I mean, he had a, how many points, largest lead that they had for a while Largest there? lead was 16. Yeah, and Brockton has clawed their way back, literally clawed their way back into this basketball game with four minutes left, only down by four points. A perfect example of the way basketball used to be played, very nitty-gritty, very physical, Team, team basketball. Very, very team-oriented, a lot of passing, not a lot of dribbling. So exactly halfway through the fourth quarter, four minutes remaining, 56 to 52, the Holyoke Purple Knights trying to hang on to, again, a lead that was once 16 and now stands at four. This is where the boxers got to be careful on the inbounds. They cannot let Kavanaugh get to the basketball. Gennaros nice comes away with the steal off the inbounds pass. Nice play. They were trying to get it to Kavanaugh. But the lady boxers were ready. Robinson to Fernandez. Fernandez to Jelani Jackson. Jackson driving inside. Kicks it out to Robinson. She takes a three, and it is no good. Kavanaugh coming down with the uncontested rebound. Fernandez comes up with a steal. That's oh, not a foul. Oh, that was ticky tack. Come on. That was a great defensive play. A hit called against Annalisa Fernandez. Those will give a coach gray hairs very quickly. Yeah, that wasn't a hit. Come on, let's see it right here. Well, did we already see we it? We already saw it. <laughs> well, well, let's put it this way. We didn't see it because the foul didn't exist. There you go. Kavanaugh good on her first attempt. Holyoke now in a one-and-one one shooting <laughs> situation. <sighs> so Here we go. Let's see it again. Look at that. Come yeah, on. That's all ball. Nice, nice shot right there. Good replay job there by our tech crew. Show the fans how ticky-tack it was. It'll be a Holyoke basketball, 57-52. Kavanaugh was one of two at the line. Three and a half to go. Santiago looking for someone to throw the ball into. She finds Annalisa Fernandez, who taps it to Robinson. Robinson to Brianna Santos. Off the glass. Count it and one for Brianna Santos. Great job by Robinson. Bringing the ball down two on one. Waited at the exact time, right time to pass that basketball. Chance for a three-point play. You'll see it right here on the replay, folks. Robinson very nicely aware that Brianna Santos was there and Janitza Santiago committing the push. Yeah, Robinson, nice soft pass to uh, Santos. Santos, 5 of 5 at the line from the, uh, five of five from the charity stripe tonight. And now just a two-point ball game. 3.15 to go, 57-55. Brockton has absolutely clawed their way back into this game. Glacian down low, puts up a wild shot that goes nowhere but out of bounds, and Brockton will take over with a chance to tie or take their what would be their first lead of this ballgame. Yeah, it would be big, big momentum if they can tie this game or, or get a three-pointer and take the lead. The fans will go out of their minds knowing that the boxers are, from the get-go, really weren't favored. 
Fernandez down low, gives it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson spinning with it inside, puts up a floater off the glass wow. and a tie ball game. That was beautiful. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh calls for the charge and Brockton has possession. Great job. I, I wasn't sure if it was um, Gennaros who stood there. Michaela Robinson set herself, put her arms on her stomach, and let Kavanaugh run over her. We're going to see it right here. Oh, nice job. Michaela, Michaela Robinson. Beautiful job by Michaela to stand her ground. Forced the offensive foul. Robinson to Gennaros. Gennaros in for Fernandez. Back to Gennaros with room off the glass. No good. And Santiago coming down with the rebound. Yeah, Kavanaugh caused Gennaro to put the shot on, back, on the backboard. Good defense by Kavanaugh preventing uh, Gennaro's from uh, having the boxes take a lead. Whoa. Whoa. Off the glass and in for Janellis Mar Rivera. Wow, you didn't hear much of her tonight. And somehow she comes through with less than two minutes to go. Jackson from the charity stripe off the glass, no good. She hit the floor after the shot. No sign of a call yet. Inbound for Holyoke. 145 to go. Holyoke up by two. 59 to 57. Box has got to be careful. I think they're going to try and go to uh, Kavanaugh if they can. She's the money player. Trying to force it to Kavanaugh. Glacian comes away with it. Flings it, but not before she stepped out of bounds. Brianna Santos will replace Jade Wint with a minute and 32 seconds to go. Yep, and, and they they was trying to get it to Kavanaugh, but like you said, they forced it, Matt, which caused the turnover. Jelani Jackson across half court. Brockton very content. Brianna Santos called for an offensive foul. Away from the ball. It's Michaela Robinson's going to inbound it for Brockton. I don't know okay, what's going. I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm confused. Robinson in for Jackson. Jackson to Santos for the lead. Is yes. good. Yes. Counted yes. and one for Brianna Santos, followed behind the arc. Brockton with a one-point lead, and Brianna Santos at the line for the old four-point play. And, you know, she can hit that shot. We've seen her hit it before, but that's not her That's not her favorite shot. She likes to look for the inside play, but you'll see it right here. Big-time Lady Boxer shot. Nothing but bottoms. And a perfect six of six from the stripe tonight is Brianna Santos. Brockton with their first lead of the night. 61 to 59. No better time than the present with about a minute left. Santiago all the way in and all tied up yet again. Yeah, a little breakdown on defense right there. Robinson wild shot. Kavanaugh reaching up, grabbing the rebound. Santiago with it, working against Jelani Jackson. A foul going to be called against Jackson, I believe for a hold. A push called against Jelani Jackson. Uh, yeah, Jelani was Jackson was trying to go for the steal. And unfortunately, the ref caught her making contact. Missing her first attempt, will not get a second. Brianna Santos with it. Rocky needs to slow it down. Hold it, waste the entire shot clock out. Gennaros for three is no good. The fighting for the rebound is Santiago along with Fernandez. A four second difference between shot clock and game clock. Holyoke will be forced to put this one up with time left on the clock. A foul committed by Analicia Fernandez. Wow. Or so alleged. Yeah, because Kavanaugh looked like she kind of forced her way in there. Maybe Santos didn't have her feet planted, but maybe we'll see it right here. Oh, come on. That's a charge. That's a charge. 
Oh, ref blew that one. The ref blew that one right there, Matt. 61-61, both teams in a bonus situation. We're being asked by the scores table to pull up the replay one more time so that they can all see what atrocity uh -huh. was just committed against the Brockton Boxers. Wow. And the ref has, refs have been pretty good this game, but right here, they blew the call right here. Look at she had She had position. And unfortunately for the boxers, they were penalized right there with 17 seconds on the clock. Well, Kavanaugh has shot one of three at the charity stripe tonight. That should have been a second charge by uh, Holyoke. Both teams with 10 fouls against them, so both teams in a double bonus situation. 17.3 game seconds left. We all know it's going to be more like five to seven minutes. Kavanaugh at the line for the lead, and she is no good. Wow, big miss right there. Denisha Williams coming into the game. She will replace Janela Smar Rivera. And Brockton's fan base is getting loud. Yeah, they're getting loud here. One of two at the line. Brockton, with no shot clock, needs to hold it and hope for a last-second shot. Annalisa Fernandez driving. Kicks it out to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Michaela Robinson. Five left. And Holyoke takes over. Fernandez comes away with it. Who's the foul on? Fernandez. I believe it's going to be Annalisa Fernandez with 1.3 on the clock. Called for a block while Brockton had the ball. Wow. I don't know. I just don't know. It looks like the pressure has got on the referees. They really haven't had their A game out here in this second half. And um, unfortunately for the Lady Boxers, you'll see it on the replay. Let's see. I, there was no foul there, folks. There was no foul there. Well, there's .2 seconds on the clock. This game all but over. Holyoke up by one. Brockton, you just hate to see the Zebras make, a, make the difference in this um, Brockton loss. And that's exactly what happened here. Brockton got some bad breaks in these last 15, 20 seconds of this ball game, and it's, it's going to cost them. It's going to cost them, folks. A timeout is the refs are going to go over the clock situation here. We're going to take a look at the replay of that last foul. You're watching number 33 down low. Uh, where's the foul? It, it, the ball bounced off her shin. She tripped on. The Santiago was on her way down before that. And that is... Absolutely not a foul against Annalisa Fernandez. And that's two bad calls in these last minute of this ball game, which basically has cost the boxers possibly a, a, a win tonight. A well-deserved win for the hustle and scrappiness they have played against this bigger Holyoke team. So they're, the refs are asking that .2 seconds be added to the 1.1 that was just displayed. We're going to call it in even two seconds. So Brockton, if done correctly, could fire up a shot. With two seconds, there's always that, that prayer. They'll have, to, they'll have to Hail Mary it to about half court and, and pray. I think the key is they need to get the pass to half court because if you're going to Hail Mary it, if you put Hail Mary it from this side of the court, they might hit the um, the netting, so they need to get it to half court to have a chance with no interruptions to get it into the um, basket. Well, either way, it would be a three. There's simply not enough time to get it all the way down. Well, if they can find someone open it in the half court area. Oh, two, and coming down with the rebound, Jelani Jackson with the last second shot. 
and it will not get anywhere near the net. The final score, 62 to 61. Miles, the story was the stripes. Yes, it was, and it's unfortunate because this Brockton Lady Boxer team had a well-deserved win in their pocket, and it was just taken away from them. But I have to give them credit for a great comeback by this tough Holyoke team from out west. Miles Brockton did not have a tie or a lead in this game until one minute and 22 seconds remained in the fourth quarter. And then it was back and forth, an excellent last half of the fourth quarter by both teams. Yep, and you'll see right here one more time the phantom foul. And um, it's unfortunate, but the key to this to the boxes coming back is they basically shut down Kavanaugh at the right time. And Holyoke wasn't feeding Kavanaugh because... Fernandez was on Kavanaugh real tough, and along with a few other boxes, they played Kavanaugh really tough in that fourth quarter to deny her the basketball when they could. 62 to 61, the final score. Holyoke getting the victory as well as the refs over Brockton. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.